Okay, good morning. Welcome once again. I want to um I want to make a local feed. So with me here is um this this is granite cake. This is blood meal from gotten from cattle cattle blood. This is methionine. This is methionine. Why this is cassava flakes? These are cassava flakes. This is crushed or milled um, milled corn sorry milled maize white maize why this is fish meal 72 percent fish meal this is soya bean meal this is soya bean meal um and this is this is a stir i'm going to use to stir it right here with me right here with me is a hot water ah it's very hot so what I'm going to do first is that I'm going to get this I'm going to pour this cassava flakes inside So if I'm going to pour in the flakes I'm going to make the make it count I'm not going to be easy, but I'm going to do it instead of waiting for a pelletizer or something. I'm just going to do something by myself. I want to do something by myself. They say where there's a way, there where there's a way, there's a way. So first of all, I'm going to make this. I think it's okay now. Let's just start with this half. Then the blood meal. I'm supposed to add the blood meal. Wow, so thick. Shit, man. I stayed very well. I went to the slaughter this morning to get this blood meal to the slaughterhouse. Wow, see how thick this one is. Wow, hope it's gonna turn. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. wow. See how thick ah oh, shit man. It's it's congealed but ah this blood will have a lot of protein. What do we do next? Should pour it inside. About half of the blood. This half, gonna keep this one. Gonna turn. Now the granite meal, granite cake. Where we have this? This is the granite meal. Yeah, and now the ground meal. Wow, then wants to start again. 
hope it doesn't start now. Having added the granite cakes, having added the granite, granite cake, see see how the mixture is now very red, ah, very proteinous. I know the fishes are going to grow well. Now it's time to add the soy meal. Soy meal. Shit, man. Wow. Wow. It's not easy be doing this and doing this at once, but. I, I just want to prove a point that can, we can do this ourselves. This is the soya meal. Then I'll add a bit of a bit of maize. Wow. A bit of maize. Uh, a bit of maize. This is um, maize, maize flour. Grounded. Properly milled. Then, then this is fish meal. We have to add fish meal. It adds a lot of protein and it makes the fish grow faster. This faster, I think. I don't really know. I'm not measuring this, but since the fishes are going to eat all the feeds at once, I know that they're still going to get all the nutrients. Let me keep this. Um, methionine. Methionine. Methionine has not been added. Add methionine. Uh, we advise you to add premix. Premix consists of essential vitamins needed by the fish. But since I didn't have enough funds when I was preparing this, I had to skip the premix. So you can do that. It's very essential. So what do I do now? I am gonna turn this thing. I'm gonna turn it. I'm gonna turn everything together. I'm gonna turn everything together. Yeah, I'm turning. It's gonna be strong, but. I have to turn it anyway. Oh, it's thick. Wow. Oh, man. Wow. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add water. I'm going to add some water to make it get into the thick. Mm, I'm gonna turn it. Get back to here. Hello. Now I blended the the mixture in to even consistency. I've added the the soybean meal. I've added the fish meal. I've added the maize maize um, the maize grits. I've added the methionine, and I've added the granite cake, and I've you know the maize the cassava flakes was the first I started with and this is the blood me over here so what I'm going to do now how am I going to pelletize this feed now like how am I going to pelletize this mixture after pelletizing I'm going to dry it so let's see I'm gonna get this don't mind I'm gonna use my hand and touch my hand away then I'm gonna get a bit of this 
Then I'm gonna put it here. Just watch. Just watch this. Hope you can see it. Hope you can see. Do you see? Um, I don't really have money to buy this uh, uh, the, the, the pelletizing machine now, so I just have to do something. I'm gonna continue this way until it all falls in. It's not going to be easy. Sorry, my camera fell off. It's not going to be easy, but it's gonna be just that way. Then after that, I'm gonna dry it. Then I'm gonna dry it. Don't worry. easy but it's better than nothing it's better than nothing right now you can see the feet the one I've already pelletized after this they are gonna dry so that's how I'm gonna do it I'm gonna get back to you after when I finish with this and and drying I'm gonna show you how the feed is as you can see you can see that this feed should be very rich because of the high blood content and you know blood has a lot of proteins so the reason why i'm just doing this, the reason why i decided to do this myself is to it will let all of us know it will let us i do my face it will let all of us know that most times we can do stuff ourselves as farmers as as a farmer as a student right now i'm sorry um i think i i think of producing my own feed myself that's that's the best way to make your catfish farming very profitable because foreign feeds in nigeria here i think most of the feeds that are doing well are foreign feeds and they are very very costly so if you want to cut costs if you want to make your farming very cheap like make 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 more profits so this is the best way to go around it this is the best way to go around it so it's not going to be easy but i'm going to do it uh, I think the next I'm going to buy is a, is a mono pelletizing machine that I, I have to turn like this to do. I think that one is easier. But before I get the pelletizing machine, I just have to do something. So I'm doing something. Thank you. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you.